Well, hello, you 50,000 people. <laughs> You're back for another one. 50,000 people, right. You obviously like that drawing the rabbit. So, what we're going to do is going to extend that lesson. And we're going to do the same shapes and do a different character. All right? So, just to remind you of our basic shapes from last time. Um... It's basically a ball and a dome and two sticks, two more domes. That's it. That's all we need to learn to draw here. That's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the same shapes. We're going to, again, add some additions to it. And we're going to come up with some other crazy animal. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm going to try and draw... Um, another animal. So I'm going to start off with the dome. Same shapes, nothing exciting, nothing amazing. Just to give us a base. Once we've got that base, we can do anything we want with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some little sticks coming out. So just sticks sticking out like some kind of pin cushion almost. Can you see that? Like that. Very simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a ball. So that we've got the same shapes. In a different order. That's all we're doing. That's all we need to learn on this lesson. So we're going to have some domes. The same dome as we did with his feet. We're going to do with his feet. So I'll show you this up close in a minute. So you've got a very clear idea of what's happening. We've got a dome. We've got four sticks that are sticking into this dome. And then we've got another dome that are going to be the feet. And that is it. That's it. That's all we need to think about. Once we've got that done, the rest is us enjoying this journey, enjoying every single thing we need to do about adding character to this. Now it's obviously some kind of animal, some kind of running animal. If you can imagine, we'll add another little stick on there. And just so you can make it a little bit clear of what I'm actually talking about. There's your animal. Now, all we've done is we've used a circle, a dome, sticks. That's it. That's the whole design. And that's going to be exact same shapes as we did with the rabbit. And you guys love the rabbit. So let's try this. We can draw any animal on top of that that we want. So, let's have a go. So, we'll keep that there. In case you get a bit lost or a bit confused or a bit whatever, we'll put that over there. We'll get ourselves another piece of paper. Again, we, I'm just using 320 cartridge paper, 320 GSM. So you can use any paper you want. You don't have to follow mine. Um, you know, these are probably... Um, you, you can use A4 printing paper, you can draw it on anything you want. And this is just me trying to do it on a nice piece of paper. So, let's give it a <laughs> Let's give it a go. So, again, I'm just going to put in my blue. Gentle, gentle, just a guide because I'm going to throw my ink on top of it. There's my dome and my sticks. And the stage that I get in my mind is that I know my shapes. I've drawn my shapes on that paper. And for me, when I draw, I don't need to put this blue down because I already know it's only a simple shape. It's only a dome and a circle and a stick. That's it. So it makes it very, very, very easy then for you to draw and do anything you want. 
gonna put a ball there. And that's it, easy. Basic, just a little bit of blue pencil. You can use anything you want. You can use pencil, biro, doesn't matter. And then we get into the fun part. This is where we just relax and we're going to add a character. Let's, we'll, we'll draw a goat, just a goat. And um, the only addition there, in fact, this is really good because what we did before with the rabbit is we had those long ears. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna somehow, we're gonna add some horns onto him. And that'll just be like a long sausage. That's all it's gonna be. Exactly like we did with the rabbit. You can think of it as a stick or a sausage or something that's just a long, simple shape. Whatever simple shape works for you in your mind. So, here we are. And um, we can start with the dome. I'll, I'll um, I mean, I'll put down some brush marks or something like that, but you know, you guys just do it as a straight line. Um, for me, I just like to make a mess. <laughs> there we are. But you remember, this is just a fancy way of doing a dome. You know, that's it. There's nothing amazing about it. It's just me doing a dome. So don't get too panicky about it or worried about it. It's just a dome. And um, all it is is me adding something onto this dome shape. And all of you people that sent me those drawings, incredible, incredible what you did from a circle and a dome up to drawing those rabbits or hair or whatever you want to call it, Mr. Hair. It was absolutely mind blowing what you did. And um, so I have absolute full confidence that you guys can do this. And again, this is just, you can see, this is just that dome shape. We're not adding anything special to it. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit kind of hairy or fluffy or. And then all we're going to do is we're going to build on top of that. You can just build your, if you just want to do a straight line, that's fine. I just love this idea of a big hairy goat. And I'm just filling in the the goat body to kind of give it this lovely fluffy hairy creature look bit too much bluff so in just while I'm doing filling in this you can just kind of see how your shape that's all we're just doing that dome. That's all we're thinking about at the moment. We're not thinking about an animal. We're not thinking about his face features, nothing. We're just thinking about a dome, simple dome. And we're adding in some hair on top of that dome just to make him look kind of funky. Right, so stick and dome. So stick. Here's the stick. We're only thinking, what are we only thinking about? Stick. We're just doing a stick. Stick is this going to be this back leg. And we're just going to be drawing that stick. Just a stick. Just two straight lines. In my case, I'm going to make a little bit of a furry um, effect to it, but just draw a straight line. And then we're gonna add another one, another straight line leg. Again, I'm gonna add some hair to his legs, just to have a bit of fun. In fact, you know, one of the things that we were talking about, one of the things that really impressed me about some of your drawing is that you added a lot of your own little elements of character to it, you know? You, you change the hat or you change the the design on the on the jacket and the suit 
I've seen people doing, there's a beautiful one that came in that somebody put flowers where I'd done pinstripe. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, in fact, I'm just gonna add a tail, okay? And what's a tail? A straight line and a ball. So, you know, let's just go wild and we'll just do a lovely big splash ball there. Put that down and make a mess, people will be crazy. And we'll give him a tail. Just to add a little bit of fun to it. Right, so we've done the two straight legs, two sticks, we're gonna do a dome. Just a dome, exactly like our basic drawing. Just a dome, nothing else. So, just get rid of that blob. So we're gonna do a big dome at the end of the stick. And all that is gonna be is his feet. Now you can do a, a, like a divide in the middle so it looks like a hoof. And that's just gonna be like a, like a long triangle line. That's all that's gonna be. But it's just a dome. And that is the whole thing of that foot is just a dome. Drawing the other foot, just a dome. In fact, let me just push on that. I should have done that earlier, but otherwise I won't have the slow-mo time-lapse for people to see what we're doing. Silly boy. So you'll have to forgive me there, I'm halfway through it. So we're just adding that other dome. And we're going to put a little, little slice of lemon in there. <laughs> a little uh, cut into the foot. So it looks like a jumping character. Now, one of the difficult parts of all of these is going to be adding a little bit of feature, a little bit of character into our um, face. So we've got a neck, which is just a little sausage. That's all a neck is, just two lines, a sausage, and that's gonna attach to our um, head. Um, I'm gonna give him a little little collar, which is just a little square shape, just to add a little bit of a little bit of fun and character to him. But then from out of that, I'm gonna do my my neck. Now, the feature on the goat is going to be, you can do whatever you want. Here, all I did was a, a smiley face, smiley face. Just do that. If you're happy with that, just do that. Um, there's going to be nothing that's going to uh, change. Just going to, I've got a little bit of a, a bleed on there with the, with the ink. I'm going to, and suck some of that up. Got a little bit, <laughs> got a little bit carried away. Right, done. And we're going to add a goat. Now, obviously, we're going to have to think about trying to add some character to him. And um, this is the part probably where things get a little bit, a little bit difficult because we're going to be thinking about eyes. What shape are eyes? Circle. Okay. And um, we're gonna give him a little beard like my <laughs> like mine. So it's gonna be like what shape is that? It's kinda of like a triangle shape. Simple. So let's see what we can do there. I'm gonna give him some big round eyes. And that's all they are. They're just a round circle. It's nothing technical. There's nothing that we need to think about. And the inside the eye is another little black circle with another little highlight, which is a white circle. So we're gonna have some fun. Give him some, some long ears. Do, 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 
Okay, come on. So we're gonna, and I'll tell you what, you remember we drew on the rabbit, we drew those glasses. Do you remember on the, on the, the hair, we drew these little round glasses? We could do the same thing on this one. So you've already done, the glasses was a circle, a line, and a circle. So let's get in there and do the same type of thing. Let's do him as an old goat. And the old goat is wearing some glasses. Uh, it's just a circle with a little line going over to a circle. Um, I'm going to bring that line up. I'm going to give him some hair. Don't worry about what, what the hair looks like. It's just it's just me trying to add a bit of character to him and the nose for a goat is just like like ours but it's just like a little line and a little line so that's all this is going to be so don't don't get too worried about it I'm only going to be drawing a little line a little bump at the end and it's just a little line drawing his nose And it's going to try and just keep this as basic as possible. And please, when you when you do look at my drawing, look how basic everything I've done. All the shapes. And if you look at something and you think, oh my God, how has he done that? Ask yourself, what is, the, what is the most basic shape he has drawn? Is it a circle? Is it a square? What, what a triangle? That's all we're thinking about here. We're breaking everything down into the most simple, basic shapes that we can have. This little beard that I've just done now. All it is, it's just like a triangle shape. Nothing else. So, when you're doing this, keep your, uh, keep your confidence that everything you're going to be drawing, if you don't know what it is, just ask yourself, what's the shape? What shape is it? Circle? Keep it simple. Don't start looking at it and thinking, oh my God, he's done that and he's done that and he's done. No, I've just done a simple shape. Cool, that's our goat. Um, we were talking about horns, weren't we? The rabbit had ears, we're going to add horns. Same thing, it's going to be a long stick and it's going to go from a thick end to a point that's it okay so again nothing amazing nothing too complicated and all the way up the stick we're just going to do some little lines back and forth back and forth just to kind of give it that feeling of uh of um the, all the ridges on the on the goat's horns. You can see I'm not getting too technical about it. I'm just doing back and forward lines. That's looking fine. That's looking all right. And you can see, I hope you can see, it's just a basic all the way through. Everything, when you see this drawing at the end, you will see this and you will see how close it is to this shape. Again, I'm going to add another little horn. I'm going to add it slightly going the other way, just to add a little bit of fun to it. Again, I'm just doing that zigzag lines up and down it, just to kind of uh, add a little bit of character to it. 
So, all we've got left now to do, hopefully you can see that very well, all we need to do now is, move that, does that help? Um, move that up, there we are. So, we've got a very, very basic, um, Shape. We're going to do some legs, stick, we're just doing a stick. Keeping it simple. You see a lot of artists and that don't really want to tell you all these basics. The basic is just learning simple, simple shapes. You know, the, you know if I was to draw this in a way that I was kind of like, wasn't explaining the basics of it. It would make me look so, oh my God, this guy's a genius. Look at this, oh wow. At the end of the day, it's just whatever I'm drawing, you're drawing, right? So give this a, give this a go. There's one of his big feet and I've got his head a little bit too big there, so I'm going to be drawing a very smaller one in the distance there. The other, just a dome for the foot. And that hairy leg coming in. It's just a stick, that's all it is. And that's our goat. That is it done. And it looks great, doesn't it? You've done your, your own cartoon goat jumping in the air, you know? And you can do some little bits of fun. You can draw sunshine up in the sky. There, he's jumping in the sunshine. You can draw a little bit of grass. So you kind of like jumping on a hillside. Again, what is a piece of grass? It's like a long triangle, isn't it? Like two sticks with a point. Nothing. So draw long, 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 long. And that is it looks absolutely beautiful love it lovely and that's our lesson for today i'll um show you that a little bit closer mm, can i show you that closer let's see if i can turn that around so you can see that a little bit more. Can you see what we've done? Can you see how basic our shape is? From that, and if I hold that, and I bring that in as well. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? How we've gone from that, this complicated drawing, from this. So, I hope that's given you a lot of confidence. You have now drawn a rabbit in a suit. We've drawn a goat jumping in the sunshine. And you did it as well. We did it. You and me. So, let's put somebody's lovely name down there somewhere. Yep, me. <laughs> And you put your name on it as well. Put your name on it. You've drawn this, so. Hmm. Put your name down there so we can see. So you're proud of what you've done. Be proud of every single thing you draw. Make sure you, when you draw on your goat, show me or show somebody. Say, look what I've drawn today.
and people will say, wow, you're pretty amazing, you are. Did you draw all that? Yeah. Could anybody help you? <laughs> you just tell everybody you were amazing. Look how clever you are. Don't mention me. You know what? I've just spelled my name wrong. <laughs> That's me. I better put a little E in there somewhere. Oh, dear, dear, dear. See, that's, that's how much I'm talking. I'm talking and I'm not even thinking. I'm just thinking basic, basic shapes. And I even, even spelled my name wrong. I forgot the E in my name. Dear, dear, dear. There we are. That'll be a, that'll be a limited edition. That will because I spelled it wrong. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much for joining me today again. And once again, we have completed a fantastic drawing in a very short space of time. There we are. A goat with. Kieran's name on it that he spelled wrong. <laughs> I'll never live that down, will I? And that's it. Basic from that. Right? So, go and practice your shapes. Nothing else. Think of a shape. If you start to think about eyeballs and, and start getting glasses and you're starting to get confused and you're starting to get lose confidence, stop. What shape of glasses? Round, round, stick in the middle, that's it. Anything that goes, gets too complicated, too difficult, simplify it down to the most basic shape you can think of. From that, you can add details afterward, but keep it simple, okay? My name's Kieran Siemens. Come back and see me again on my YouTube channel and um, if there's something you want to draw, let me know. Send me a comment. All right? Have a fantastic day and thank you for coming around. And I'll see you again very, 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 very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.